Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ripple has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and Stochastic RSI are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Ripple hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the upside with around 0.4% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 55.1 cents. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 200 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 53.4 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 55.2 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is situated below the hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 55.2 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 54.2 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 55.3 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is in the three hourly ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 54.0 cents. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the support should be considered. Searching for divergence in the three hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 200 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 52.9 cents it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 56.1 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is above the daily ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 52.3 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals.
See you next time. See you next.